Boom! What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the cool, amazing, epic YouTube channel. I am most certainly the uh, host of the show, slash episode, slash channel, dot, 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 so on and so forth, etc., etc. If you've been here all along with us, we appreciate you. If you're brand new to the show, we appreciate you finally coming through and seeing the light. Anyways, what are we going to be doing today, guys? We're going to be doing uh a unboxing i got my fucking cleats uh my soccer cleats yesterday in the mail they finally arrived and we're about to flip and get it we're about to get it got it good i got these for around 22 23 dollars i don't have my phone on me so i can't really show you the uh the damages but it wasn't a bad pickup uh in my mind i mean i've been looking around uh, you know, I've been looking at some really cool stuff. I was going to go with, like, the Adidas, uh, but then I was like, you know what, uh, Pimpin', why don't you uh, start off with something else other than the Adidas and uh, work yourself up? Uh, or to <laughs> So that's basically... <laughs> <laughs> that's basically the way I uh, I kind of did it, uh, you know, in, in my in my uh, decision uh, making out there for all the fucking uh, DDD psycho uh, analysts. Anyways, that's basically about that. Uh, you're probably wondering what type of stuff the Big Papa get himself. I went with the Brava. I went with the Brava soccer uh, cleats. Yes, yes. I went with the Brava Soccer. Uh, nothing all too crazy. I got this for probably around 22 to 25 bucks shipped. Uh, and it's not too bad for, you know, what it's, I guess, worth so far. I haven't tried these on. I haven't, you know, kicked the damn ball around. All I can tell is basically what they tell me. It comes with a standard box. Uh, you know, and, and that's pretty, pretty cool. I got it from eBay, so you can probably find the same thing. They're Brava Dominator, and look at that small foot. Uh, I'm still growing. I'm a growing boy, so don't you worry, ladies. That 12 can hopefully turn into a 13 in no time, if you know what the fuck I'm talking about. <laughs> Just joking, but not really. <laughs> Uh, pretty standard stuff. Uh, yeah, nothing all too crazy. Uh, seemingly, it's probably made in China. Kind of ridiculous because uh, it says O2 2018. So seemingly, this is like a five-year-old shoe or something along those lines. But uh, not too bad. So let's get to uh, the uh, the heart of it. Um, and this is basically it. This is the uh, the finished piece, the article, as you can uh, possibly tell. Nothing all too crazy. In reality, these things are probably ugly as all hell. But as you can tell, uh, the ugly uh, sometimes fucking kicks ass. Right, guys? The ugly sometimes kicks ass. And this might be one of those things. I mean, for, for what I can tell, pretty lightweight design. The durability on this thing, I really don't know. As far as getting dirty, uh, as you can tell, probably white is going to be the worst to keep clean just because it's white. So if you get on turf or anything like that, uh, this is probably, and you want to keep your shoes nice and neat and pristine, this is most certainly... Uh, not not something you want uh, in your repertoire. You want probably a darker color, uh, you know, just because you don't want to deal with the uh, the excessive uh, mess. The uh, the design on the cleat itself, non metal, seemingly it's uh, you know durable plastic uh, molding, so nothing all too too crazy. Uh, but yeah, I mean. <sighs> It's nothing special. It's nothing special. It's kind of like an intro type thing. I mean, you know, for 20, 25 bucks, how the heck can you go wrong? Uh, Brava seemingly is a somewhat uh, viable character in the soccer 
uh, you know, uh, world and so on and so forth. So I'm not really displeased, you know, uh, if, if I was in my quote unquote everyday mind, would I go out and, and go for this if I had something else? Um, probably not. But there were a lot of factors such as price. I mean, you know, for 20, 25 bucks shipped, I can't really say all too much bad about that. It's, uh, it's a pretty good company. The shoe doesn't look all too flipping ter terrible. And uh, that's basically about it. I think the company is uh, somewhere off of the coast of Africa. So, you know, it felt pretty good giving back to, you know, uh, wherever the heck they are. It was like a non, you know, everyday thing. So uh, I don't know how the heck these were made in China and their company is made off the coast of... <laughs> <laughs> of the coast of Africa, but maybe they can make it work. Maybe the items were made in China uh, and, and uh, you know, created uh, in uh, wherever the hell that is. So I don't know, guys. I really don't know. The durability factor, I mean, it feels like it's like an everyday thing. Uh, the inaugural sniffing of the shoe. I don't know. I mean, it's it's not too, too bad. I mean, the quality control on this doesn't look horrific. Uh, it looks like, you know, it might have like the propensity to start chipping, uh, especially like maybe on the sides right here. It looks a little cheap. Uh, this right here, it looks kind of cheap, you know, just because of like, you know, I guess the, um, I guess the material or something like that, uh, but not too, too cheap. Uh, it looks cheap, but it doesn't look too, too cheap. It looks like it might be able to do its job uh, for, you know, a couple of instances on the soccer field uh, and so on and so forth. Made in China, all man-made materials. So I'm guessing this isn't like any leather or anything like that. It might be a pleather type thing. This is basically the inside of the shoe uh, with, with the namesake uh, Brava Soccer. So not too, too bad. I mean, I, I can't complain, buddy. I can't complain all too much about that. Uh, durability, you know, off the rip, it looks like out of 10, I'd maybe give it like around uh, maybe a 5. I'd say probably a five, five out of 10, uh, nothing all too crazy. Uh, the look, I'd probably give it around a 4.5, a four to 4.5. And the, uh, I guess pricing and value, I'd probably give it at around a 7.5 to an eight. So in all, I would probably give the Brava Soccer Dominator uh, around a 6, 6.5. We'll go with a 6 out of 10. A 6 out of 10 for the, uh, the Brava Soccer Dominator uh, in all its flipping glory. Now, I might put these on and I might be even more compelled to fucking love Brava Soccer even more. But uh, that's uh, to be determined. That's to be determined, and that's basically about it. Um, would I go with a Brava Soccer uh, cleat in the foreseeable future once again? That's also to be determined because uh, I haven't tried these bad boys out yet. I haven't even put them on my fantastic feet, let alone kick the fucking ball yet on the soccer field, mind you. So this is all to be, you know, basically figured out in the foreseeable future. Let us know if you are a Brava soccer cleat owner or any uh, apparel for soccer, also including uh, accessories for Brava soccer. Let us know if you like the brand, if it's been a good brand for you. And if not, if you don't use Brava soccer, I'm not going to tell you that you absolutely suck, um, you know, uh, 
uh, objects and so on and so forth. Uh, but tell us what type of um, brand is your go-to. And until next time, you know the drill, guys. Love, peace, and please, and I do mean please, quit spreading that disease. Adios, guys. Take care and uh, let us know what your go-to brand for uh, soccer slash football is. All right. Adios. Take care and assalamu alaikum, Maida. Right, guys? Exactly. Adios, guys. Take care.